Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, so I'm going to have my back because I have yours. We're just going to pull tarot right now and see what comes out. You guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. And if anybody hasn't ever told you, I love you. There is a six of swords that come out with the five of cups. Having the inside knowledge to know when it's time to walk away. Um, but the five, uh, excuse me, the five of cups and the six of cups is in the reverse. So, so the reverse is overcoming despair, it says. Um, this is forgiving somebody. This is accepting change. And this is you being ready to move on, healing and letting go of past energies. So we have um, the Six of Swords being in the reverse. It says there's no progress uh, returning from travel. It says delay, slow healing, bad to worse and instability. So again, you're overcoming despairs when it comes to you dealing with delays. Hey, you guys see I got my nails done. My niece is back. So, yeah, you dealing with the delays. And so there there you have it. Right now you have been questioning what to do, where to go. But, again, you feel like when it comes to forgiveness, that might brew up a whole lot of open things, a lot of different emotions, and a lot of things that is going to cause stop your progress in moving forward. And so that's kind of how I see that uh, when it comes to this energy. We have unsure energy of the Three of Swords. So, you know, the Three of Swords is normally heartbreak, right? But it comes unsure, and it says grief, delusion, sorrow, depression, heartbreak, misunderstandings, tears, and loss. And then it has a reconciliation, letting go, healing, release, forgiveness, uh, feeling hopeful and optimistic. So when it comes to this is all painful energy, uh, what you're going through, but you have to determine what you're going to do when it comes to this energy, how you feel, the moon energy, your fears, facing your fears, and going from there. The moon is in the upright. This is blocked intuition. This is uncertainty. This is instability. This is dreams. This is anxiety. This is illusions. It's you facing your fears when it comes to the moon being here and you remembering about the things that you went through. So the thing about the past, as you guys know, if you follow me, the past causes fear, lots of fear. And so you have to know how to get that energy, um, figure out what the, what the lessons are, what they're trying, what the lessons is trying to teach you and go from there. I'm adjusting my microphone. So you guys probably hear that and go from there. And so the waning moon is here. It says gaining wisdom. So what this is trying to teach you, as I said, you have to realize that, you know, you being able to forgive and move forward and not to forgive and hold on to the past energy. And that's where all of the energies of heartbreak and what you have to deal with when it comes to those energies because again it's something that um you have to make a decision about if that makes sense and so um you know you can talk yourself in out of a situation or you can talk yourself into a situation or you can you know spew negativity when it comes to these situations or you can harbor the pain of the past and not be willing to let go or you just have to understand that this is the lesson the universe is here. Thank the person and move forward. Easy, Easier said than done. But when it comes to yeah, the Two of Cups energy, unhealthy attachments. So it says, res what is it? Rescuing, caretaking, enabling, enabling, clinging, seeking approval and codependency. So when it comes to past energies, your fears cause you to be codependent on a person, place, thing, or situation. Respectfully, has nothing to do with, oh, I'm, I'm overbearing, I'm a helicopter mom, I'm this, I'm that. The thing is, is that people have to learn their own lessons just like you do. You have to learn when to hold them and when to fold them. And, and at some point, codependency is very unhealthy. When you're trying to do everything for a person, place, thing, or a situation, um, and um, where it consumes you, when it makes you feel like, you know, you're less than or you 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 failed yourself, but you didn't. You learned the lesson of how to really love a person who's going through whatever they're going through. And that's five of wands. It's conflicted when it comes to your energy. You're conflicted when it comes to what you should do and how you should do it. The five of wands here says a harmony, harmony restored, you know, situations resolved. You're finding the common ground and it says cooperations and solutions. You're figuring out how to deal with a situation to where you felt like, you know, um, 
the the odds were not in your favor if that makes sense and so this is what the universe tries to teach you and this is where the hard lessons in life come in at you know it's like you have to forgive and move on and understand that some things um and okay some things meaning it says the moon this is when your intuition is blocked you know this is when you 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 can't see what it is and your your you know your dreams and everything don't look like they're going to come together so you have to remember who you are remember that new foster right you got to remember who you are you got to remember why you're doing things like the way that you are and why you were and and a lot of the times codependency comes from past hurt from past pain it comes from past experiences and you're trying to I either let somebody really um, you're trying to support somebody's full potential and trying to get them to where they really are or where they can be. Um, and it's causing more conflict than anything else, you know. And so when it comes to the harmony restored, this is the five of wands in reverse because there's no conflict with you anymore because you've learned the lesson, like I said. And so the five of cups being in the reverse and the six of swords being in the reverse and the three of swords being unsure comes with you remembering why you had to let go of unhealthy attachments and that's where the waning moon comes in next to the regular moon because this is you um reevaluating the situations your plans the perspectives having a new perspective decreasing the way you do things that mean and removing your energy because yeah you can have massive regrets in regards to past energies but you know you've done everything that you can and so when it comes to the conflict and things like this so this is a really good reading because it's telling you how to learn the lessons of the past and not to have massive regrets because this is going to keep you stagnant and you know that the codependency you guys need to listen to codependent no more by melanie Beatty. and i have to constantly remind myself about it blocked uh spam calls yeah you're not going to let the negative attachments or the negative energy of the people who you've tried to help and the people who you've been there for, you're not going to let that come through anymore and make it make you feel like you have any regrets or you're living with any regrets. Uh, yeah, because the past runners, uh, the past energies, when it came to why you stayed um, and the six of swords in the revert in the upright is again, better times are ahead, but it's walking away from the, you know, con conflicts and things like that. Just, you know, just like trying to restore your peace. But again, you have to understand that if you allow this energy to be here, your healing is going to go from bad to worse. If you allow this same energy to keep holding over you or holding, or ho holding, um, holding storage in your life or I'm I don't know if I'm saying that right but you know so you're you're not running you're not avoiding you're just setting boundaries to the people who you know made you feel yeah like you went round and round that triggered you it says round and round uh cycles and lessons again triggers you're not going to let anything you're running from the triggers you're staying away from them you know far away from me stay away from me you know I can't I can't deal with this type of energies and whatever so that's just kind of how I see that energy and it's just lessons again like it says here it's lessons of how you're dealing with your own feelings because reckless sex could happen love but this is somebody you you learning and learning the directions to go into gps where the triggers are so the round and round could be that you have reckless sex you know oh my god what is the name of that movie uh, that it was a series on netflix when it was the girl she was um blind and she would go around having sex with people in bars um anyway it was her way of dealing with things and no i'm not saying that i'm just saying that basically you know this is how she dealt with her emotions and you know it's just like um I can't think of the name of it, but anyway, um, the thing is, is that your feelings are everything and you have to learn how to deal with them because we are emotional creatures. We are lovers. We are codependent on people that we feel, uh, um, a certain way about. And it says stress, tense, strain, under pressure. We feel under pressure when it comes to feeling like we're being trapped by the people that we're trying to help. And so at some point you have to understand that you've done your best in every situation. And the only thing that's left for you to do is to allow the universe to work in its way and no, not wish karma on anybody, not send any kind of karma somebody else's way, just send strength and healing and know that whether your friend, foe, you cut them off, whatever it is that you know again you did your best in any situation and the only thing that you can do is you know what 
you know, send strength and healing to them. So all of these cards come out. I'll go ahead and take them. The bottom of the deck is party and external, third party type energy or external. Um, this has nothing to do with you. The messages are going to come through. You need to learn how to communicate. Um, you need to know that North Node, your purpose, you got to find your purpose and remember who you are. Your ancestors are helping you. You have to make a decision on how you want to deal with certain situations, whether it be love, reckless sex, whatever it is that suits your boat, you know, Mars energy, you know, is how you take action. So that is what this attraction is, what you're attracted to. You could be attracted to that. But again, at some point, it causes you to have to look at your feelings which is the moon energy back coming out right here it calls you to have to look at your feelings and look at how you feel and also remember what your triggers are because if this is in regards to a union two of cups energy in the reverse it's like you always rescuing somebody in codependency and you being loyal there's going to be a lot of regrets again massive regrets in this situation and when it comes to your thoughts how you think about things is what's going to keep you your feelings is what's going to keep you stagnant when it comes to you having to forgive yourself but understand the cycles that it says round and around and the triggers and the lessons understand the cycles are going to constantly happen until you are the change that you want to be or see and that's the completion that you have to have within yourself not letting third party situations whatever it is you know uh somebody dealing with somebody you uh else or just people coming into your life you have to have clarity on where your triggers are if that makes sense and so that's kind of how i see this reading it was meant for this to come out this way so if this is about feelings if this isn't about a rela if this is about a relationship if this is about a job i'll go ahead and pull from the income um, deck or um the show me the money deck i'll pull from that and i'll pull from another one but then i'll also pull from the love situation deck i just got to I don't remember where they are, but yeah, you have to understand that, you know, the, your feelings are valid and the way that you want to be loved and how, you know, you want people to treat you and what happens when you walk away. Sorry, I'm looking at the cards. I pulled the breakup from the things that no longer serve you. I'll pull from the breakup oracle because this is the one that I grabbed first. Walking away from the things that no longer serve you can be an issue and you have to know how to deal with your feelings and know that. All of these cards are turned upside down or unsure because you need to know what it is and how to feel about them. I'm going to clarify tarot up above to see um, what other energy comes out. But yeah, solitude. And this is when we go into a dark night of the soul to the soul searching about friendships. Look, and these cards came out. I'll go ahead and pull them because they're unsure. But the way it goes, you're shutting things down. It says, I, I'll swear, I'm swearing off dating have no desire to be with anyone so that could be your energy but third parties things like that you're trying to become abs uh what is it uh absent abstinence practice abstinence when it comes to it says i'm taking a break from everyone and spending time alone friendship i am more comfortable being friends than being lovers so again when it comes to what you decide to do and what your triggers are you have to learn how to get around them but shutting yourself off from the world is not the thing you just have to have clarity on what it is that you want i'll pull this self-pleasure so you know unsure a self-pleasure i'll just i'll put this right here self-pleasure we have your choice yeah these are, these are all your choices but you're unsure about how to make them player you know that this is somebody that you've probably been dealing with the waiting game you're waiting for somebody or you've been waiting for somebody to change this person to you is incomparable or you might be incomparable to um this situation or whatever but the thing is is that you have to know that competition third parties there's no competition there's no competition. You shut everything else down and burdens. This is more of a burden thing to you and a double life because the person that you choose to deal with and it's being your choices that you've made is living these double lives. And you're trying to, mm, at some point, if this is in a relationship or you're breaking it up, it's your choice on whether you want to preserve yourself, wait for this person to change. But again, you have to be able to understand that this is a big burden for you. So all of these situations is basically your choice. So your regrets um, that you're dealing with when it comes to this person and being unsure, and I'll put it right here so you can keep looking at it, um, basically is your choice. You regretting things is your choice. 
So uh, that's just kind of how I see that. So the communication, everything that you're you're going through is your choice until you learn to have clarity about why you're deciding the type of people that you want in your life and what you're going to shut down and what you're not going to shut down, if that makes sense. And so it's easier said than done. Again, I'm not going to say, oh, you know, I'm perfect at things. Hold on, I'm, I'm looking for this card deck. Uh, here's the money deck. Uh, I'm not going to say that, you know, it's not, it's an easy thing to do, but you know, basically when it comes to love and things like that, you got to figure out what's best for you. But, um, the unsure energy is the things that you need to overcome. And so, uh, I guess I'll put that right here because this is the three of swords energy, which is, again, is heartbreak. You have to deal with the heartbreak and the things that you're unsure about. You have to be able to understand that, you know, it's your choice on how you want to deal with things. And so when it comes to finances, uh, unethical, it says unethical behavior can be, be, can lead to some serious consequences. Some is stealing your, or lying to you about money. It says don't sacrifice your morals for money. So again, um, this could be taken away from you. Unethical behavior can be taken away from you. Imprudence is here. Um, it, it says don't let the balance of your credit cards get too high. Put something aside for a rainy day. Um, stay with within budget and start living within your means. So that could mean something for somebody else. So if this has to do with any unethical spending or the way that you're doing things when it comes to somebody that's living a double life, again, these things are your choices. The way that you go through things now, again, if you have no um, way of getting out of making a certain decision that is going to help you get through a certain situation, then, you know, the regrets come when... And, if you don't try to change. So again, these things are your choices. You have to be able to make sure that you're making the right choice when it comes to certain situations. Hopefully you can see that, but I'm going to go ahead and I was going to pull from the love situation deck, but I'm going to clarify these cards here and I'll put them right here now. So we have the three of swords there. So I guess I'll take that back down. So this is what we're clarifying right now is the six of swords, uh, Excuse me, the six of, the five of cups, the six of swords, the moon energies, well, no, the two of cups, that's all. Because the moon is basically you remembering who you are, so, and the three of swords energy. So let me get a tarot deck to see what I want to clarify with. Um, but yeah, I just believe that you are the one to take action. You are the one to make things happen, and you also are the one, what card deck is this? Uh, I don't know. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, you are the one to understand what you're going through, but you have to learn the lessons from it. Nobody else can tell you what it is because at the end of the day, it's your choice if you choose to deal with certain situations. So I'll put that there so you can see, but unethical behavior when it comes to finances, when it comes to love, when it comes to heartbreak, when it comes to unhealthy attachments, when it comes to knowing that trouble ahead, when it comes to you knowing that this could be financial, this could be uh, mental, it could be physical, it can be emotional but you're in regret because the things that you chose to do but you have to learn from those so we're going to clarify the five of cups energy uh with this tarot deck five of cups energy so overcoming despair has to do with you know having your cake and eating it too going after the things that make you happy and this is foundations this is fulfillment this is dreams coming true so overcoming the despair will cause you to under to to you know be happy in the long run remember Laugh now, cry later, you know, if you don't get this together. And so it seems to me like at some point when you forgive somebody and you move forward, which I always tell you guys, sin, strength, and healing, period. When you forgive someone and move forward, this person no longer is putting poison in your daily activities. You're no longer drinking the poison of somebody's actions because it has nothing to do with you. So you're not living in regret. So you will want, you will move on and you will find you know, somebody who is your like kind, somebody who's going to support you, but you have to be able to overcome those obstacles. Six of swords, understanding that, you know, trouble is ahead and understanding that, you know, uh, healing is going to take a, uh, it's going to take a t take time and nothing's going to happen overnight. Knight of Pentacles, it takes for you to realize that it's not about finances. See, you see this card here? This is the devil, you know, persuading somebody because the Knight of Pentacles can have you doing the work but are you doing it for the gold or are you doing it for the lessons inside of it? So that's where this energy comes out with me. The Knight of Pentacles says you can't get the results without first doing the work, show up, work hard, keep pushing every day. But if you have somebody in your ear talking about, about the gold, 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 
Rumpelstiltskin, there's going to be trouble ahead if you're just thinking about the, the, the financial part of it. It's about you understanding and gaining, doing the work for a foundation, not doing the work just because I want to prove to somebody that I have more money or this and that. You're not proving to anybody. You're proving to yourself. So the Nine of Pentacles is what I'm going to clarify because, again, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse just lets you know that you have to have discipline. You have to understand that when you feel stuck, it, nothing is perfect. You know, you have to make it perfect. You have to know that there's going to be a situation where you're going to get bored when when this when this these these um, energy show up, you know, the devil shows up, you're going to get bored. It's going to lead you to wanting, you know, this, but I always tell my son slow money. I mean, excuse me, fast money brings slow problems. So this could be fast money and look at the problems that's going to happen down the line, you know? So those things are, you know, uh, what you need to understand. So we're going to clarify the Knight of Pentacles because it needs clarifications. So if you understand and st you're optimistic about the things uh, that cause that have a lack of progress or that you are trying to rush the instability, things like that, you, you know, you have to understand that you have to have faith. You can't rush what's meant for you. And so this is meant for you. But if you rush it and you listen to the naysayers, the, the, the toxic energies, when it comes to the three of swords, you have to know that this is something that can keep you stagnant and keep you living in the past. So three of swords energy and keep going. With, yep. Three of swords energy. Exactly what I said. Clarified with the three of swords. So the unsure three of swords shows you what the three of swords really brings. It brings heartbreak. It brings a, a hurt, pain, emotional uh, uh, energies, you know, emotional um, situations and sorrow you feel start feeling sad for yourself because somebody is walking away because you never set those boundaries and so at some point you need to understand that unhealthy attachments are you know again gonna come and bite you in the butt and so again your choice on what it is that you want to do but again we're going to clarify the two of cups energy comes with the eight of swords yeah so the eight of swords is basically overthinking um, but when it's in this um, stagnant stage the Eight of Swords can also be like you um, not believing in yourself. Does that make sense? You're not believing in yourself and you are um, trying to, uh, what is it like? Um, it's like you are um, sabotaging yourself about how, you know, how this situation is. So it's like you're talking yourself out of why you are codependent. And so, again, you have to get out of that cycle to understand that, you know, just because of this situation, I don't have to be this way. I just have to let go and let God basically in so many ways. But let's clarify the eight of swords because it needs clarification comes with balance and it comes with the 360 will of fortune energy. So, again, the will of fortune energy is just letting you know that you're going with the flow. You're going with the flow, but it's based upon you having balance within yourself. This has to do with you thinking, soul searching and going from there and having faith. It's not about you know, the unhealthy attachments and you clinging on to them. It's about you having faith within yourself and understanding that you can be up here, right? Or you can be down here with the toxic energies, which again, that comes with you overthinking and not and thinking that you're less than. So bottom of the deck is the three of cups. Yeah. So you have to find people who complete you and not deplete you. The three of cups energy is just letting you know that you want to be around people celebrating you. You want to have collaborations and being creative with the people who is going to be happy for you, who's going to find harmony in the things that you do, find harmony within yourself. And so that is kind of how I see that energy. And so I believe that that is a really good read. I'll pull from what's the tea to see what comes out and go from there, you know, because again, you have, you have the choices. You can live in regret. Or you can learn from it. And that is, you know, O Rafiki say you either run from it or you learn from it. And you should choose to learn from it. Screenshot is here and ignoring. So this is the energy that you've been dealing with. Is somebody ignoring you and you are screenshotting people to say, oh, well, I saw you online at some point. Spiritual hater hates on your spirituality and broke ass. So that that is um, one thing, you know, somebody could be a spiritual hater, but a groupie so again we have we have third party so look this could be somebody just hanging around with you because they hating on you and they screenshot and everything that you do but they're steady draining you you see what i'm saying 
they're steady draining you of everything. And so um, at the same time, when you need somebody, let's say their only thing they're doing is spread and what it is that you're you're doing and what you're where you're going, if that makes sense. Hates on your spirituality, light, light, magic power. And so, you know, you don't want those type of people around you. You want the people you can celebrate with, not a groupie, not somebody just around you because, you know, you benefit them um, or whatever or something like that, if that makes sense. So that's kind of how I see that. I'm going to pull from doo -doo -doo -doo, the messages of love to see what comes out. And I said I was going to pull from the, um, um, I can't think of what it's called. What is that called? I don't remember the name of the deck. But anyway, so yeah, I just believe that that is what you need to hear when it comes to this situation. It's your choice. You have a choice to work on yourself, past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. So again, if this is somebody who you feel regret, someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. So let them regret the way that they treated you but nine times out of ten you know being codependent when it comes to somebody not really seeing your worth they you have to heal yourself and understand that the unethical energy of them and the way that they do things is regardless on whether you know your soul remembers this connection you know they can be hating on you and they can be sending this energy towards you and you don't know how to deal with it so the best thing like Beyonce say the best way um, just I'm paraphrasing is to be, get your get in your bag basically that you know what I mean the best way to get revenge is to you know show them who you are financially physically mentally spiritually so show me the money that's what we're doing now show me the money that's what this deck is called so sorry I know that's very loud show me the money a new career so you're gonna have a new career it says barters and trades leverage your resources and talents so this came in the reverse i think at this point you're going to put things on hold in regards to how you give things for free and trade off you know like give or take energy so at someone that says leverage your resources and talents right now you're just being um working on you and the new career will come uh because you're starting to work on yourself if that makes sense It'll come because you're working on yourself and you have fruitful collaboration. So right now, I believe that when it comes to these energies, the, 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 the groupies, it's going to be different because you're going to find people who complete you and not deplete you. So this is three different energies of, where is it at? Uh, third parties. I saw it. Where is it at? Doo -doo -doo -doo. What you're shutting down. So you're shutting down certain, yeah, look at this. Look at these energies. So which energy would you want around you? Hold on. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Make room for abundance. So here, which energy would you want around you? Someone that you can have fun with. So this is all it. Groupies, three of cups energy, grateful people, or third party. Look at the mean girls. You see what I'm saying? So this is the energies that you're, it's your choice on what you, who you want to be around. And again, whether it be love, whether it be jobs, whether it be friendships, it's your choice. You have, we all have a choice on what it is. So I think that's what, where I'm going to go ahead and leave it. But again, some, some things, it says prudence. And then the broadcast comes here. Again, you can be out hanging with people and the groupie could be that they're, they're uh, spending your money and they're waiting for you to buy everything, which you do because it's out of the kindness of your heart. Or you can be with somebody who is like, we're all going to pitch in. We're all going to do this. We're going to enjoy this time and go from there. So you have to understand the way that you're spending your money, what you're doing, and why you're doing it. And then let the people in the end, you know, and shut down the, the naysayers and the haters. Because, again, this is why you distance yourself from people. Because at the end of the day, you have to shut down the haters that are going to be in regret when you do that. And they're going to be hating on you. So... Hermit energy, soul searching, retreat or time out distance and shutting down the haters. And that's the reason why you have to understand it's your choice if you want to live in regret or if you want to have the fruitful collaborations. I choose the fruitful collaborations and not the spiritual haters, right? So there you have it. Let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and the four agreements. If you want to know my perspective, I'll put the link up above. Hold on. I think I got to call my son. Hold on. 
yeah, I'll, I'll put the link up above uh, and go from there. But yeah, you have to be the one that's going to, um, what is it? You have to be the one that's going to make the changes. You have to be the change that you want to see and go from there. So that's kind of how I see that energy, if that makes sense. And sometimes it's easier said than done. So again, let's pull from the four agreements. And then we're going to pull from the crystal deck and then we're going to let this energy go. Um, here we go. Don't take anything personal. So regardless on who, what, what less than you're going through, regrets, no. Don't take anything personal. Know that this person taught you a lesson. Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you because you've done everything you can in the situation. Embrace, embrace your freedom. And so that's what you're learning. It says you gain um, a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spell can affect you. Remember I said they're sending spiritual haters. They're sending all this negativity your way, all this or that, because you've chosen you. You've chosen you. And so nothing that, that somebody else can do can affect you. So it says uh, no spell can affect you regardless on how strong it may be. And if you live without fear, um, if you love, you will be happy with your life. And so that is where this energy comes in at. Even though the adversity is there, you're not letting things stop you. And you're going to understand that I've done everything to be around people like this. And it's I'm making room for abundance for me for the future, not to live in the past and not to live for the future or to be worried about the future, but to live in the present moment. And you're making room for everything that is yours by divine right. So you're shutting down all the haters and naysayers and you're not living in regret. So let's pull from the crystal deck and then we'll let this old energy go. So I think these readings have been good. I've been trying to come on a lot, even with my crazy nails, uh, whatever, but yeah, this card period. That's how I say, period. It was the period dot, though, so um, period, period dot. Anyway, it's the heart and solar plex chakra. Protective, purifying, and healing. Protective, purifying, and healing. And it says, it's safe for me to detoxify and heal. I mean, can I make this up? It's safe for me to detoxify and heal. So that is what you're doing. You're detoxifying and healing. And again, at the end of the day, it's your choice if you want to be around fruitful collaborations or if you want to be around people who keep you in massive regret or who are takers and not givers. So it's a difference. All right, let's let this old energy go. And now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health and addictions. Remember, Addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.